so we will today learn about managing input and output operations so we will learn about input and output operations in C okay so what we learn is first we will learn about the input so how we take input from the user because that's one of the most important things we have to have an interactive program and hence we take input from the user and the most simplest function that we have is we have get care so this get care is a function that takes no argument but it returns a character so if we write something like care c and then c is equal to get care so we can take input from the user and that will be stored in the character c so this is about get care and we can write a small piece of code so like we can write int main and then okay so we have so let a b c d are the answers so we define care answer and then so we will say that printf please enter your choice and then I will say that okay answer is equal to get care and then we will do printf answer is percentage C and then ANS so this way what will happen is this the output will be like please enter your choice and then I will say that okay it is say B and then it will say that okay your answer is B so this is about taking input from the user the most simplest command so then we come to other type of like outputting so for outputting we can also use put care so put care and we can give so it takes care c so it will output the character variable that we give in the output console next we see about formatted input so what is formatted input so formatted input is something like we define as so the function name is scan f then we have the control string so we will see the meaning of control string and then we have arg1 arg2 till arg n so let's see what it means so if let's say i want to enter some number so what i do is i will simply do scan f and then the number for a uh, integer we have percentage d so if i want to in input two numbers i will say percentage d and then i will have num1 and ampersand num2 so what does this mean is so here we have int num1 and num2 are defined and then so it we ask basically the user to give us two numbers as input and then what happens is we have ampersand here which means that okay 
when I define so this is the memory and so in the memory is like this is the variable name this is location memory location and this is the value so we have num1 num2 and let's say it's in memory location 100 this is at memory location 102 so when i say that okay scanf and ampersand m n1 number one so it means that it will the user input let's say he inputted 5 and 10 so 5 will go into the memory location of num1 which is 100 and 5 will be stored here and num2 so 10 will go into the memory location where num2 is stored so this will be populated with 10 so now we will look at a few different things so the way it goes is it will have percentage w s d this is the way to write this control string so what it means is that if i do scan f percentage 2d percentage 5d and then num1 and num2 so what will happen is that so if i input now 50 and 31426 it means that this will take a number which is of two digits and this will take a number which is of five digits so if we input like this so it will be perfectly fine but if we input something like 31246 and then 45 so what will happen is that because this is the just a two digit number so this part will be taken so num 1 will be equal to 31 and num 2 will become 246 and because this number so this will be ignored So now we will take so this was the example so now next thing is let's say we do scan f percentage d percentage star d percentage d and ampersand a ampersand b so now if we assign data so the input is 123 456 and 329 so what will happen is because we have put a star here so this value of the second one will be ignored and a will become equal to 123 and b will become equal to 329 so this was about scan uh, for integers so similarly for float we can have percentage f so what happens is that when we have to do scan f so we will do percentage f percentage f percentage f and then x and percent y and percent z so where this now these are all float x y and z so this is for float similarly if you want for a double so for that you have to give long f lf kind of thing so now the thing is how we want to input string so if we want to input string so the thing is we will have to use percentage s and for characters we have to use percentage c so what we do is that okay let's say we have to 
input name so first name and last name so we will say that okay care first 20 similarly care second 20 and what we will do is that okay so we will do a kind of printf enter first and last name so now we will do scan f percentage s percentage s and first and second so this way we will be storing the name the first name and the last name in, in these two character arrays and one question that some people might ask is why we are not using ampersand here so we don't use ampersand because the in an array the name of the array itself is a pointer so that's why we don't have to use and this concept will become more clear when we move to the chapters on pointers so uh, last thing that we will see in this is reading mixed type of data so what happens if we have some mixed data for input so that is also very simple so scanf and let's say i have some first is i want int then a double then float and then a care array so these are the input that we want so i will do percentage d percentage lf percentage f and percentage s and then so let's say number one is uh, integer then ampersand number two ampersand number three and then name so this way we can input a mixed data type and the last thing is now about detection of errors so what happens if I am taking some input but there is some error so what error might be detected so in this I had taken four input but let's say it could read only three of them so scanf is a function and it returns number of elements inputted that is taken as input so here it should return a 4 so I will find out that if this scanner returns 4 then it is fine otherwise there is some mistake in the input so this was about the input and we will end this lecture to summarize so we studied about input at output operation we studied about get care we learned about scanf and put care then different kinds of scanf like with float integers long double etc and then about detection of errors and reading mixed type of data